I decided I want to see the rest of what I have here and then I will go to editing the videos. So we have 10 paintings left. start with this flower. Aha! I think this is another one of my foliage. I get the advantage. I can see this tiny little thumbnail. <laughs> oh, that's pretty. The cat looks very light. This is one where I, I think I actually might want slightly darker drills on the cat. did not realize she bought this. I think I know which which one this is. I think I saw this one with like two others on Timu, but I'm not sure. I didn't know she was buying this. I'm not sure if it was from that seller or not. But got a pretty cat. So, oh belt with bags. So we got a dark green. This is a really dark green. Some darker red colors. Navy blues, blacks. Dark pink colors. I see pink in there and cream. I don't take this camera set up here down so everything should be the same thing it was last time but it just still didn't look right to me this time so I just seem to change it every time so the flowers foliage the cat's face which again why'd they have to make the side darker <laughs> I mean I get it shadows but I'd love that the whole cat face was the same same colors the whole thing was just D's, K's, X's, and 2's. And we didn't put these 6 and N's. No, 6 and R's in it. They are easy to read, just the Ingalls looking at them. I think all those letters are pretty easy to read. Let's well print it. So we got the cute little lion. Yeah, it's a male lion. Alright. Ooh, this one's the colored owl. Again, I don't think I realized she bought this one because I think I have this one in my cart. Does not look as pretty as the uh, colored macaw did. Doesn't mean it won't look as pretty once I put the drills on it, but... Looking at this, it doesn't look as good as that one did. That one looked really pretty. This one has a lot more black than that one did, too. We'll look at the drills and see. It might also just be darker colors in general. I possibly have a few more exciting things happening, but we'll have to wait and see what happens and then I will tell you about them at that time. So we have, oh sorry, let's look at the drills first. I wanted to see the color palette. So. Again, sorry about the air condition in the background. You're going to be hearing that for a few months. The colors I think are darker colors. I mean, they're still pretty bright. There's a nice bright yellow there. This green's pretty bright. But I think this is darker colors than it was on the macaw. So that might be another part of that. Also, 
this is like that style where everything looks like it's a square. It almost looks like it's supposed to be a square painting, not a round painting. So you're not seeing the full image printed behind the lines. I already straightened it out. I'm sorry, my brain's still not working very well, apparently. So, we got twos. Bunch of color blocking twos around here. A little face, little eyes. And it's chest, that red area looks really dark with that dark red and dark blue right there right now. I'm hoping those aren't that dark. I'm hoping they're a little bit brighter. I could always change them to brighter too if they are a darker drill. Yeah. It's pretty. I see an animal's eyes. I saw blue eyes. Look at those blue eyes. And I can see the picture now. It's a wolf. So this one's kind of like a grayscale style painting. Although they gave him blue eyes and a red tongue. Again, I like the really colorful ones. I also like these kind of like limited color ones. Like the black and white, but with a pop of color where it's needed. So we have a lot of gray and black and more gray and more gray and then some blues and pinks. Okay, so just something I noticed. I don't know if the camera will notice it or notices it, but my eyes are about level with the camera, by the way. I noticed these Fs right away in the painting and they stand out more than anything so right now to me because i noticed so many of these f's it looks quite pixely to me but again that should definitely not be the case once those f's are turned into drills and it means that they're quite clear since i can see them this far away <laughs> Oh, don't let your cam, don't let your canvas fall upside down like I just did. Lucky I wiped this off before I did this, so there really shouldn't be anything on here for it to get stuck to, or to get stuck to it. And if something does get stuck to it, hopefully it'll just pull off the tweezers when I end up working on it. I think I've said it before, but since I have cats and dogs, I know there's going to be hair on my canvases. I'm not too worried about a hair mixed in with the drills. If I can pull it out, cool. If I can hide it under the drills, cool. Like, <laughs> I want them to look pretty, but I'm not going to be a perfectionist about it because then it wouldn't be as enjoyable. So we have 16 colors. Look at those blue eyes. Aren't they gorgeous? And then these are supposed to be like hills or something above his head. Look at that evil smile. He wants to eat somebody. <laughs> That's a really, really pretty wolf. Look at that. Mm, we'll go with this one. This one I've seen one of you guys do. Again, in my opinion, it's a little small, but since it's not finished and it didn't look bad and I don't see it in a larger canvas, it's like, okay, I wanted it. I saw it finished. It looked okay. I kind of have to have it. I've always lived in a nut house. It fits perfectly. I feel like sometimes I can be the squirrel burying my nut just to pick it back up again, bury it somewhere else, and then never find it again. I feel like I could be just as kooky as them with that. So again, this one I would not have bought at all had I not seen it finished. 
and finished. It doesn't look bad. Again, still for me, I really wish I could get it in a bigger size so they had more detail to them. But I know for a fact it looks okay in this size. And I haven't found it in a bigger size. If I find it in a bigger size, I'd probably get it in a bigger size. Although when I say bigger size, I only mean like a size up. I don't mean like one of my big 40 by 70s or anything crazy big. I just mean like a 40 by 50 or so. Like enough to give the little squirrels an extra pixel for an eye or something. That, you know. So you got this little squirrel fishing here. And this one with the ladder, which is, I'm guessing, carrying the nuts up to the house. This one watching it, and you have some pretty flowers and nice blue sky. And of course, your colorful nut house at the bottom. There's another one similar to this. I think it's sold out now, but it's like a beach scene, Welcome to the Nut House, that I kind of wanted to get as well. I think it's sold out, though. And then there was a Welcome to the Funny Farm or something like that. Which puts a song in my head. <sighs> this one is a uh, wolf yin and yang. So I got the tiger yin and yang I opened, and this one's a wolf one. There's no bags or anything. So we got black, orange. Peach colors, browns. Again, I do like a lot of these yin and yang things. I've always liked the whole light and dark thing. So I've always kind of been attracted to the yin and yang style stuff. Um, I honestly, though, do wish I could get these in a true 30 by 30 or a 35 by 35 something like that and I think I possibly can on some other websites actually I'd have to double check that but I think I have seen them in like 40 by 40s or some of them just not on Timu still looks like it should turn out all right we got 20 colors a lot of color blocking and that's a one it kind of looks a little blurry to me, but it's the only one that looks a little blurry to me, really. And the L's. And here, the L's and the ones. They're not bad by any means. Just not as clear as some of the other ones we've seen. That's a nice little dark and light wolf. Ooh. So this one's a cat I don't see many diamond paintings of. Another colorful one. And it looks better than I expected. I thought it was going to look really dark, but it doesn't look as dark as I expected. So we got purples, reds, oranges, pinks, kind of off greens. These are a navy blue, not black. This is the black, so not much black. And this is really pretty. But tell me, have you seen any other Lynx diamond paintings? I really don't think I've seen any other diamond paintings of Lynx. I don't know why, but I love that this one has a lot of colors and that it's like paint dripping off of it or something like that. I find this paint drip thing so cool. Look at those eyes again, nice and shiny. All the letters look quite clear. We got 25 colors. <laughs> I 
I'd really like to see this one done. That's pretty. I see ears. So this is like another fox or something? Yep, another fox. I think this one might have been in the same ad as the white fox. Because I think the ad had three different foxes in it. Not sure though. No bags or anything. All right, sorry if you guys hear my bird in the background. He decided he hears me talking, he'll talk to me. So we got the navy blues, the blacks, the reds, whites, orange. Hopefully those look okay to you. It's hard to tell on the camera how that looks. Okay, so Get done with these last four and then go say hi to him because he's obviously begging for attention. Or he just hears me talking to myself and thinks I need some conversation. <laughs> Trying to tell the bird what a camera is. He thinks it's an evil thing that needs to be destroyed. Hi, Boo Boo. I'm trying not to really talk back to him, but I also don't want him to think I'm ignoring him. <laughs> oh, I'm torn. Sound weird on the video with you guys, or not talk back to my baby. Hi, Boo Boo. Hello. All right, so it's a little fox with flowers around it. It's 25 colors. Look at that face. And you have these flowers here, which definitely should look more colorful finished, you would assume. And then like grass, blacked out area. Type. That's a really pretty fox. Oh, is this the lady I was waiting for? I really wanted her. And I didn't think I got her. But I think this is her. So, I think I know somebody that will like this girl. She does not look as pretty as she looked online, but... I think she'll look prettier with the drills on her. Uh, you do get the squishy, the, uh, is that a four placer in the bags? See, I think I know somebody else that would like this painting. So you got purples and peaches, reds, yellows, some light blue, some light green down over here, more purple. This looks quite pink to me. It looks almost skin tone in the phone though, I think. And there's a really pink pink back here. So again with the pinks, it's not really my color palette, but I thought she was gorgeous. And she does have a lot of purples in her too. It definitely should turn out nicely because it's only half a face on a 30 by 40 canvas like that should give you a lot of detail I mean look how big this eye is <laughs> I wonder if she's actually supposed to be from a bigger painting I'm looking at her and it looks like there's actually words in the like band-aid or something across their nose and it looks like it's cut off all right so she's an HP She's a printer. Sorry. So we have 25 colors. Again, look at the eye. Her hair. See this bandage on the nose, though? There's an O. What is that? Like O U L? 
or something and it looks like there's supposed to be a bit of a letter here same with down here I think this is supposed to be some letters can't read what that says maybe that's just like a stitch looking pattern or something but really looks like the band-aid on her nose was supposed to say something I think she's pretty again. I have too many canvases to work on. I really want to work on like half of them at the same time, but don't want to work. <laughs> I will never get all my paintings done. Sad truth. All right, so this one looks very washed out right now, but those colors are very bright and they're the ugly tiny bags you get a huge multi-placer no writing on the bag to tell me what painting it goes to so it looks really washed out but from this we can tell for sure it's not going to be that washed out this yellow is going to be this yellow so i think it should look pretty Right now it just looks way too pale and all the colors kind of blend together. And we do want these rainbow like colors to blend together to a certain amount, but the color palette looks a lot better than the drill area. So we have 24 colors. It has some little black eyes in there, and there's its beak, and it's nice like rainbow feathers. This is the thumbnail. Hopefully it's that nice and bright and vibrant when finished. It again does have dummy circles, but that's cute. I gotta put the number on the bag. Just Q78. Okay. And you know what? I'm gonna open this one because I don't want the boat to stay in here. This is gonna make a mess, isn't it? Best look you guys are gonna get at those colors. I want it to stay as neatly packed as I can. And we're already on the last one. This video feels like it's going way faster than the other videos. Even though the last video was also 10 paintings. Maybe it was just how tired I was yesterday. Or maybe I had more to say about those paintings, or... Who knows? Maybe this is just as long and just doesn't feel like it. I haven't edited that video, so I don't know how long it is. I know this one right now is saying it's just under 30 minutes. No, I saw one of you guys work on a raven not this raven it was a darker raven with a dark background i thought it would blend too much it looked really nice i wanted to get it i still haven't got it but i saw this colorful raven it's like okay yes please and wait a minute is it a raven or a crow which one has the thick beak okay so raven has the thicker beak but in a diamond painting it's hard to tell if this beak is thinner like a crow or thicker like a raven so it's either one I like them both it's obviously one of the two though and again it has some nice colors around it 
we have some light greens and pinks, kind of a uh, light blue gray color. There's some purples and more pinks and light blue. And not quite a navy blue, but very similar to the navy blue. There's a light and a darker purple in here. I cannot show you those two purples they're hiding. But again, very pink color palette, but at the same time doesn't look pink. So also has pretty purples and blues. So I could live with that. I think he looks pretty. And he's just a small little 30 by 30, so he shouldn't take long to do at all. Um, so this, which looks like it should be color blocking, really kind of isn't. I mean, right here it looks like all R's. But then we go over to here and we have R's and G's and B's. And I kind of hate that they use B's and R's. In a very similar color. They look distinguishable like this. I don't know how they look from lit from the back on a light pad. He has a tiny little eye there with a K and a P. So again, the birdie looks pretty. And that was the last one. So we have our little raven or crow. We have our pretty little fluffy rainbow bird. Our lady's face, which looked so much more colorful online and probably will with the drills on. A little fox head. Our little paint drip links. Yin and yang fox. Squirrely summer nut house. Wolf in Mountains. Owl, which is by far the thickest canvas of them. This thing is rigid. And the pretty little light colored lion with the flowers and plant headdress maybe. Maybe more than foliage, it's actually like a plant headdress with some plants hanging down. Either way, they're all really pretty. And that's all of the ones I have for this video. And that will be the end of mine. And I have a call coming in. So I'll see you next with mom's paintings.